Here are two of my favorite big game hunting cartridges, the 4570 Government and a 300 Magnum. I've used both to take deer, elk, caribou, and black bear over the years. But as you can imagine, under very different conditions. This 4570 cartridge carries a bullet that weighs 300 grains and pushes it out of the muzzle at less than 2,000 feet a second. This is a 300 Winchester Magnum wearing a 165 grain bullet that'll leave the muzzle at over 3,000 feet a second. As different as these two cartridges are, there's a pretty good chance that the same scope with the same reticle might be called on to sight for either one. Well, if you own any Nikon scope, particularly one with a bullet drop compensating BDC reticle, Nikon has created a website that's the answer to your prayers. It's called Nikon Spot On Ballistic Match Technology. Let's use the calculator to compare these two cartridges. First, you select your Nikon scope. This is a Monarch 2.5 to 10 by 42 BDC. Next, you find the factory load you'll hunt with. This is a Federal 4570 loaded with a 300 grain flat tip hollow point bullet. Next, adjust your zero range for the 4570 to 100 yards and the range to your target at 50 yards. Hit the fire button. That's it. Look at the scope view on the right and you'll see a graphic that displays the specific range for the center of each BDC reticle circle for this load with the scope at 10 power. Now here's a hint. Look for the bar above the scope that says click here to expand BDC circles and click on it. This will give you an even more detailed image of the hold points. Print out the 2 by 1.75 inch version. Next, look even higher on the page where it says select scope magnification and adjust the slider to 4x. Note how the ranges in the scope view change. Now print out this version. With a marker, label the tops of these printouts 10x and 4x. Okay, let's do the same thing for the 300 Win Mag. Do the same printouts and adjustments as you did for the 4570. Now let's compare these numbers. Pretty dramatic differences, aren't they? But they prove that the same scope will provide pinpoint accuracy for cartridges on both ends of the spectrum. Now here's one more hint. Tape these printouts to the stocks of your respective rifles. They'll provide instant, in-the-field reference based on the readings from your rangefinder.